Thousands have gathered today at a rugby pitch in Masterton to farewell rugby great Sir Brian Lahore. The service was held on the Trust House Memorial Park rugby pitch that he used to play on, while the crowd sat, of course, in the Sir Brian Lahore stand. They heard tales of Sir Brian's life, his love not just of rugby, but farming, his wife Pam and his three children. Laura Dooney went along to the funeral. Lahore has broken, he's at standoff. This is Lahore. From As thousands gathered in the Sir Brian Lahore stand, on the pitch he'd played most of his games, the tributes began with footage of him as an All Black. While it was a solemn occasion, there were more laughs than tears as close friends and family described the man Sir Brian, or BJ, was. Standing next to his father's casket, painted black and adorned with the All Black logo, son David Lahore told the crowd the rugby field was the best place for his father's funeral, in the heart of the people and the place he loved most. He said it was important to remember BJ the man. I've been pondering the order of BJ's passions in life and one that keeps popping up is sheep. Slightly bemusing when you think you may figure lower in the pecking order than his beloved sheep. He was indeed a passionate and very talented farmer and the quality of his stock was a source of great pleasure and pride to him. He says his father, who'd requested a farmer's funeral, had a singular focus that was extraordinary to behold. He was able to focus so completely on the task at hand that he could roll his motorbike on himself while grappling with a sheep in a flat paddock and not lose his grip on the animal. <laughs> he says his father had a passion for his grandchildren and was a mentor, confidant, but mostly he was their mate. David says their mother Pam was Sir Brian's everything. She was his rock, his constant, his greatest supporter, his best friend, his passion. There's not enough words to describe that. Close friend Ivan Greaves spoke about Sir Brian's love of golf and says throughout his life he gave a huge amount to New Zealanders. I have often thought you would have made a great Governor General. You have been a great leader of men with high principles, always leading by example and setting giant standards. When you asked me to say a few words today, I was very honoured. Thank you, BJ, for being such an amazing New Zealander and a great mate. And Gilbert Anoka, the All Blacks mental skills coach, says when he worked with Sir Brian, he told him Mr Anoka was the shrink and Sir Brian was the bush psychologist. He says Sir Brian was an example of everything that is good in a person. He lived his life in a way that when people think of words like devotion, loyalty, integrity, inspiration and love, they will think of him. Mr Anoka says Sir Brian had a handshake like no other. Hands as big as a plate, the grip firm and affirming. Watching him use a shelf cell phone was a joy to behold. <laughs> My bloody big fingers, you'd hear him say. So he tried to ring Pam or the kids back on the farm. When the service ended, loved ones and former All Blacks Dan Carter, Richie McCaw, Michael Jones and John Kerwin formed a guard of honour for the hearse to drive through. A group of boys from Wider Upper College performed kamate as the hearse drove out onto the road. After the funeral, hundreds of people stayed behind, as requested by the family, to take advantage of the rural hospitality offered. Former All Black captain Richie McCaw was one. He says Sir Brian had good advice for him when he became captain in 2006. He said, from what I can remember, you just need to do this, this and this, and you'll be sweet as. And uh, it was pretty calming from a guy who's uh, been there and done that. He says he feels very lucky to have spent time with such a great man. Judging by the crowd gathered in Masterton, Richie McCaw is one of thousands who have been touched in some way by Sir Brian Lahore. In Masterton, for Checkpoint, call Laura Dooney, Tene.